looks like he made it unofficially. 358.6. What did you get, Dick? According to my watch, 359 flat. No doubt about it. Jim Radio has just run the first four minute mile indoor history. Greetings. Uh, this is Duncan Larkin with Bring Back the Mile. Um, our first installment of Four Minutes with the Miler is with 2008 Olympian uh, and this year's indoor, U.S. Indoor Champion in the 1500 meter, Leo Manzano. Leo, welcome to the program and thank you for speaking with us. Hey, thank you, Duncan. I appreciate it. My first question, Leo, is what does the mile mean to you? You know, uh, Duncan, the, the, the mile to me means a lot, actually. And the reason for that is I felt like... Um, given me a lot um and, you know in the first place it's kind of given me it's given me an education it's given me a job and it's given me uh, an opportunity to, to to do many things uh so to me it's it's uh it means a lot what was your uh your first memories of the, like the first mile that you ran what can you recall about that experience you know I, so one, some of the first memories were actually when i was in in middle school and when I was trying to run the mile, or I guess it was more or less, they, they called it the mile, but it wasn't the actual mile. But uh, I guess really looking back, when I started running the actual mile, it was probably uh, at the Texas Relays, I believe. Um, and, then, and that, I mean, that was pretty exhilarating, running in front of probably about 20, 30,000 people. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, when you first broke the uh, four-minute barrier, um, and you ran 359.86 in Lincoln, Nebraska in 2005. Yeah. Um, what were your thoughts on that memorable race, making it into that exclusive club? That was unreal. I mean, it was unreal. It was unreal to me. It was unreal to my teammates. Um, and that experience was just amazing. Uh, I remember just coming across the finish line just wondering if I had broken it. Uh, and then there was kind of a moment, probably like a, a, like a, a, a 10-second moment, between the time I, I finished and the time I was looking at the clock, and it just seemed forever. Um, and then the clock just kind of came up and said, I believe it was like 359.82 or 84, I believe. Mm-hmm. And uh, then the crowd just kind of went crazy, and then my teammates rushed me, and they like picked me up, and they were just kind of going crazy. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, so now you've got the Manzano Mile coming up on March 24th. Tell us about that. Yeah, so the Manzano Mile, uh, we include a lot. And actually, it was, uh, but some of the main things that we, we include are uh, health and fitness. Um, but then we also help out the community and at the same time also bring in a lot, kind of a, the love of track and field in, in, into this event. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get the idea for the, the race? You know, um, it was actually, I had seen, I had been to a track meet uh, in, I believe it was in Missouri, and they had a really cool concept of just kind of getting the community out, community involvement. Um, and then I, I came back, um, I guess it was very probably maybe about a year, a year and a half afterwards, and, I, and that concept just kind of stuck in my head. And I was like, you know, I'm, I want to do something kind of similar to that. Um, and then all my buddies uh, from, you know, my buddies over at Jack and Adams and High Five, uh, I started talking to them about it, and they thought it was a great idea. And so we just kind of just started piecing everything together. Um, of course, at first it was a lot of work because we it was something kind of new to us, and we were just trying to figure everything out. Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, it just seems like it's kind of taken off, though. Mm-hmm. Why? You know, it's called the Manzano Mile. Um, like, yeah. as the mile, as the second part of it. Why? Why didn't you, you know, call it the Manzano sixteen hundred? Yeah. <laughs> so. so, so <laughs> Well, I mean, I, everybody can can just relate to the mile, you know. Um, yeah. It's like you don't really you don't say, "Hey, how many sixteen hundreds did you run today?" You ask them, "Hey, how many miles did you run today?" Yeah. You know, and so everybody can relate to a mile. Yeah. Or you know, like no, nobody can relate. Not, not that many people can relate to relate to a fifteen hundred either. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Do you have a favorite miler that you've looked up to? Any role models? Uh you know, I, I've, I've, um, I wouldn't say a favorite. I have a, a, a couple guys that I really think were, were awesome back in their, in their day. Um, I mean, especially the British miles. Those guys were just insane. Um, and, and I mean, I don't get tired of watching their races and all that. 
Yeah. So like uh, I, I Sebastian Co and all those guys. I mean, they were just on another level. <laughs> yeah. Last question, Leo, is what's uh, one or two things that people that are listening to this can do to uh, in their community to help bring back the mile? Uh, the biggest thing is 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 um, is just tweeting and Facebooking uh, and just following all the athletes that run the mile, um, especially following Bring Back the Mile campaign with you guys. You know, I mean that's that's huge. And if everybody just gets out there and just tweets and retweets and Facebooks, uh, I mean the mile is here. You know, it's it's just it's just coming back and, and it's going to be bigger and better. Great. Well, that's all the time we have for, for this installment of Four Minutes with a Miler. Thank you very much, Leo Manzano, for joining us on our inaugural show, and uh, we wish you the best of luck with your Manzano Mile. Hey, thank you so much, Duncan.